Good evening and welcome to the Summer Center, the Copeland Court here on the campus of Buffalo University, where tonight we have Division II District Semifinal Volleyball, our opening match, the Salina Bulldogs and the St. Mary's Rough Riders. My name is Mark Shines, my pleasure to be played by play. Alongside Deb Shank, the Mary Color Force. Deb, welcome to WSN. First of all, we have an interesting matchup between two Western Buckeye League schools. Yeah, we have uh, two teams that are very, very familiar with each other and are pretty, pretty heavy rivals, so this could be a very interesting match. Salina comes in. Uh, uh, they were the number two seed when the draw began. They were 20 and four. They were nine and zero. Winners of the Western Buckeye League for two consecutive years now. St. Mary's came in at 15 and nine. They were six and three in the Western Buckeye League. If you follow these types of things, back on October 11th, St. Mary's lost to Salina in a three-set match. One thing I want to talk about, Deb, and kind of get this clear. When we did our stat work today, all of our stats for Salina were updated through the tournament. And all of our stats for St. Mary's just through, I'm sorry, that, they were through the tournament as well. So we got, yeah, got, got all of our, stats. yeah, and each team has played 74 sets this year. And so we will see how this plays out. We have a, some all-league players were announced this week as well. First team for Salina would be Brooklyn Bourne and Peyton Berkey. And first team for St. Mary's was Bryn Clark. Phil Bangi coaches Salina. Kaylee Yoder coaches St. Mary's and our officials today. On the stand, number one is uh, Shu Kramer. On the floor is Bob Bidlack. And our two line judges are Denise Dillsaver and Roger Hefner. And uh, we're getting the teams set on the floor here. First of all, Deb, this is a wonderful facility to play high school volleyball. High ceilings, lots of room to play in. Wide open. They can just chase the ball till they hear a whistle without any problem. So you're trying to figure out how far you can chase the ball. You cannot get to the purple areas on either end of the floor, but the entire wood surface and in fact behind the team benches, the far end of each team bench is in play. And our opening service will go to Ashley Nuss for St. Mary's. Set by Bourne and let's bump back over. And free ball. Setter Sweeterman sets this one and for the end of the net on the kill attempt by Brooklyn Board. St. Mary's on the board first. Nuss will serve again. Born sets. Brooklyn hits that one to pitch it into the end. Kind of nice to have uh, line judges. I know you do a lot of that. It's, it's good to have experienced line judges when you're on the stand in this match. Oh, yeah. Line judges make a big difference in the game. Here's Bourne. That's played up before contact. And a quick left right lead of 3-0. Brooklyn Bourne is their leading hitter. She's having a little trouble getting started. Probably some nerves. Fourth serve. Put up by Nuss. Go opposite side this time, and off the blocker, and we'll get the kill by Edie Holstead. And that will allow number 10, Sarah Giesecki, to enter. Kind of one of those designated server types. She's got 48 aces on the season. Yeah, it will be an ace. Make that 49. Yeah, how about that? Just kind of got to the center floor and died. A little top spin. Here's Gisagi again. Set, hit, and that point came out of the middle. I believe that was Ashley Russ. St. Mary is in the all black uniforms with gold trim, slide is green. Yeah, Libero wears white, as does the one for St. Mary's, and that serve goes into the net. That will allow Amelia Lutz to enter, 5'9 senior, one of eight seniors for Coach Phil Bangy. And now to serve will be Brooklyn Bourne, and Brooklyn Bourne will get an eight. She leads the team in aces with 57, so um, she's used to that. Struggle a little bit in the front row, but get her a serving yeah. opportunity. Let's see if that gets her going when she comes back to the front row again. Here's the set by Ramble. 
And hit to the middle of the floor and a point for Darcy Lyman. Back set, pushed to the back row by Langenkamp. And then trying to dump it over that time was Houston. And then Amelia Lutz hits. The ball goes long. Sarah Graber will continue to serve. She served that last point and will serve this one. Her team leads by two. Lutz off the block. And a little joust activated at the net. That was put away by Peyton Burke. Hold on. I'd like to have that center that can go up to play the net, don't you, Deb? Oh. Uh, I had absolutely no business in the front row, so um, <laughs> back row for me. Samantha Jenkins will serve this ball. Set. This will be Lutz. Get the block and hit that one or the other. The point goes to Salina. And the serve will be tipped on tip to the middle of the floor by Sapp. And then that kill attempt off a blocker by Houston. Lutz again. And they keep it alive. That kill attempt was by Sapp. And then that hit was by Lyman. Longest rally of the opening set. A couple of nice digs to keep the ball from hitting the floor on that. It's the left-handed Peyton Burke to serve. That hit was by Liming. And Burke from the back row. Good track down by Ramble, and then the libero Nuss keeps it alive. Ball hit the floor, everybody called it. Everybody called yeah. it down. Yeah. Everybody, everybody called it down. Evidently, uh, our R1, our R1 never ruled it. Well, we had a line judge call it, we had R2 call it, and R1 chose not to accept it, which is, that, that's fine, right? I that's, thought she pancaked it, but who am I? And that is uh, our, our R1's responsibility. Absolutely, She, she only is. takes that advice, she doesn't have to make that call. Holstead hits, long. Three point rough right in the lead. The Bulldogs are having a tough time keeping those attacks in the court. Rachel Johns will serve this ball. Played in the back row by Graber. Lutz goes off a blocker and then Lutz scores. 220 kills before tonight for Amelia Lutz. And now Amelia will serve the 5-9 senior. It's going to be free balled over by Ramel. And a quick set out of the middle, and the point goes to Miley Sack. They're using the three ball system here, Deb, trying to keep things rolling along. That's always kind of a nice thing to do. Once the players get used to it. Well, yeah, and as long as you move the ball around so that the defense doesn't get used to where you're putting it. And that ball went long. Salina says touch. Want to touch. Yeah, we got a call down here in the corner. We got, we do. Yeah, one of the line judges has a call, and there we got it. And um, that line judge is one of the best in the state. I'd take her word. I'd take her word any day. If Denise Dill Saber says it's a touch, it's a touch. Absolutely. So we're tied at uh, nine now as Amelia Lutz will serve.
And we're going to get a... Oh, we're getting an out of alignment. Yeah. I didn't see what that might be. Somebody got overlapped. First lead of this match for Salina. And oh, my gosh. Rolled one over the, the net. There are some coaches say they practice that, and I say that you're wasting your time if you're practicing that. <laughs> Five consecutive points for Salina. Takes them to a two-point lead. Good serve. Just kept riding backwards. This will be free ball over by Ramble. Brooklyn Bourne just rolls it over. And then the attempted kill by Houston goes into the net. And it is 12-9. Another good serve. Houston gets it over. Comes back at him. I'm not sure if that was a block or a net cord. Yeah. 13-9. Big roll going right here with the service of Amelia Lutz. to be the set by Ashley Nuss. And just tipped well, across. Yep, Hallie Houston. Sometimes coaches just let you play your way out of that. So. Six points were served in that set by a uh, rotation by Lutz. Back set. Tip was blocked with the net. Nice block by Sierra Graber. Point. Rough runners. That's hit over by Bourne. And just three balled. Berkey sets. Kill attempt by Graber. And that gets a point. Well, here they come back. They're coming back. And uh, if I was coaching, I would say, we're giving them too many free balls. One of these days, they're going to jam one of those down your throat. That's a kill attempt by like Brooklyn Bourne, yeah. A little bit more comfortable in the first row than she was yeah. in front of the first Se rotation. Second time around, she's uh, calmed her nerves down a little bit. And the libero, Allison Schwederman, will serve. And that's that's long, yep. And the block was there. She hit over the block, so it flew out. 15-12. Schwederman again. Ramble has to free ball that one over. It hit out of the middle by Langenkamp. From the back row, that kill attempt was by Houston. And just free balled over. Here's the set. Block. And well, that's going to be a rough point. Right point. Yes, it is. I did not see who got the block. A couple bodies there, but it came back and Swina couldn't play it. Ashley Nuss to serve. Nuss comes up and gets that one then. Before it hits the floor. And that point goes to Sierra Graber. And that's going to be an ace. Drop that one up. The tied at 15. So after being down four, six out of the last uh, eight points have gone the way of St. Mary's. And I think somebody new in the back row. That's Michaela Stoner. She's a junior to play back row. And again, Nuts will serve. to the middle of the floor. Killed by Coy Langenkamp. Salina back on top. We played 31 points. We haven't had a timeout yet. Isagi went to serve. 
Second on the team to Brooklyn Bourne in aces this year. That play right at the net. Ball had to get up into the plane of that to count. Oh, no. 17-15. A mishit serve played. Pushed across by Graber. And that's blocked, but it ends up on the side of straight down. Yep. Brooklyn Bourne again. 18-15, Kisugi serves again. Float serve this time. Oh, that was a nice hit. Schneiderman had to play that one. And that will be an ace. Well, not an ace, a kill. We'll get that Graber. 18-16. Willie Rambo will serve. Born. Should be Graber. And for long contact. Yep. Difficult play, isn't it? Get up the block and then try to get your hands you under it. Get down it there under the net when the ball's coming out. You don't know if it's going to bounce straight down. Straight. You don't know what's going to happen. Born goes off a blocker for a point. Suffice it to say, she's gotten it going, this rotation in the front she, row. She has. And now gets to serve, does Brooklyn. This will be hit by Liming. Say, pushed to the front row. Turkey shot comes wow. back at her. Nineteen eighteen opening set. Service by Graber. Tip. Oh, good job by Lutz to find the open area. Good court vision. It's not always power, is it? No, it isn't. It's finesse a lot of the time. Here comes Samantha Jenkins to serve. The team leading by two. She chops up an ace. And we're going to get our first time out. It's 21-18 Salina. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. Today's scoreboard is presented by Wabash Mutual Telephone, proud supporter of Mercer County Athletics. First time out, we'll go to Salina. And that big hit, and well, we got a, got a rough rider in the net. Number 10, oh, number 17. Okay, here is uh, for the four point lead. They ties the earliest lead. They had 13-9 was their biggest lead at that particular point. And that kill will go to Howie Houston. Excuse me, in the net was 16. It was Bryn Clark. Bryn Clark, thank you. And this will be Bryn to serve. Yep. And that will be a point for Amelia Lux. That's twice now she's used that soft tip to score a point. She's one of those you expect the fastball from and yeah. you get the change up and you're not quite ready to yeah, play. That's why yeah. she's doing it, because she sees them playing deep. But Berkey will serve. Her team needs two to win the first set. Warren made that diving play, and then Lutz hits it, but she oh. bangs it off of Sierra Graber. She might have let that one go. Need those teammates on your bench helping you out right there, don't yeah, you? Yeah, that would have been out, I think. 
Okay, here is Peyton Berkey, her team trying to close out set one. And they do, and a Peyton Berkey ace. Opening set goes the way of Salina, 25-19. Set two coming up after this. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. Today's scoreboard is presented by Wabash Mutual Telephone, proud supporter of Mercer County Athletics. Our opening set went the way of Salina, 25-19. Mark Shine, Deb Shank, comments and thoughts on the first set, Deb? Um, Salina won because they were the more aggressive team. They were hitting the ball, and they were hitting the ball hard. Of course, they started the game hitting a lot of them out, and I think that's how Salina got, or St. Mary's got an awful lot of their points was on the Salina mistakes. So St. Mary's going to uh, have to step it up a little bit here. Regular season went the way of Salina in three sets. This one went that way. This set two is really kind of important for St. Mary's, isn't it? And it's kind of a must-win situation. You don't want to get down 2-0. Uh, to a team that you've, you've already yeah, lost you've to. Yeah, you've already lost to. And then, of... then you start playing head games. And Correct. that's never a fun thing with girls. So here we go with the second set action. This will be Sarah Gisagi to serve first. Ram will have to track that one down so it can be hit into play. Hey, Berkey hit that one over. Used to be played that hit. And then Sweeterman ran it down so they could free ball it over. That kill will go to Brent Clark. First point of set number two will go the way of St. Mary's. And Lily Rammel will serve. 599 assists from her uh, center position this year. Born. Kill attempt was by Liming, and that ball is hit. Free ball over by Rammel. Pushed out of the middle of the floor by Langenkamp, and she double kind of I thought it was interesting that time when that ball was being set. Brooklyn Bourne would say, bring it here, bring it here. Yeah, think, she wanted it. Yeah, her confidence level is, uh, is up there right now. It comes right back in the middle of Langenkamp and she puts it away. It's a setter trusting her teammate, isn't it? Yeah, it is. And I think they probably had that play called, so they ran it. Here is Brooklyn Bourne, first team all-conference in the Western Buckeye League this year. Clark will push it across and get a point out of it. Bryn Clark, she also was a first team all conference player. And pushed that one to the open area of the floor. Here's Graber to serve. Sierra just a junior. And ball comes back at her. That's something we haven't seen a lot of is service errors. They've done a nice job serving. Lots of aces. You know, Deb, I, I've spent a lot of time uh, down in Shelby County and Mac Volleyball and Shelby County League and so on. Down south, they seem to have a more risk-reward idea with their service. And the farther north you get, the more is just get it in play. Not that you don't take those aces, but um, you're, you're more consistent with getting into play. The idea behind that is you, you're playing against down on the Mac some girls that can hit the ball pretty hard. So if you're serving them lollipops, it's an easy pass set. You have the ball down their throat, so you got to challenge them on the serve. Houston missed the sideline, so we're tied at three. And Samantha Jenkins will serve. Clark hits it over. Lutz tips. This time they've got Houston there to play it. And then off a blocker, Darcy Lyman scores. This is the first of two matches here this evening in Division II. Our second match, the Liberty Bend Eagles. They were seeded number one, and they will be playing the Shawnee Indians. We'll follow this match. Amelia Lutz falls play, but hit out of bounds on Lutz's hit. Tied at four. 
Evie Holstead will enter, and as she does so, Peyton Burke will serve. Houston hits, Lutz plays, and on this side, a kill attempt by Holstead just entered. And they kept alive. Good free ball action. Rough Riders. And Lutz winds up this evening. Good hustle right. by the Rough Riders. Grayson Johns will enter. Grayson will serve. One of the four seniors for Kelly Yoder's team. Lutz. Off the blocker scores. Tied at five. And Amelia Lutz will serve. She's having a nice offensive night so she far. She is, isn't she? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Tipped over. And free ball over by Sapp. But point. Found an empty spot. Yes. Yeah. I thought she would just kind of keep it in play and instead. Gets a point out of it. Here's Lutz again. Her team's up by one. First time they have led in set two. Good play to keep the ball alive. And out of the middle, that's Sapp. Boy, the net plays good right this set. That makes me nervous. <laughs> <laughs> Sap free balls it over where it's played. Little joust at the net. Oh. The point goes to Hannah Houston. So what makes you nervous about that, Deb? Oh, just all that <laughs> tippy tap stuff. I don't know who's going to get it, who touched it last. You know, oh, as an official, that makes me nervous. Holly Houston serves. Schwedeman keeps it alive, and they free balled it over. Clark tips. This will go to Bourne. She hits the ball to Nuss. And blocked at the net on Graber's attempt. Hold on. Nobody has had more than a two-point rally here in set number two. Allison Schwederman serves to her counterpart. Actually, Nuss. And that ball's hit off a blocker, right? Yep. I hope we got a touch. Yeah, I thought we touch. did, yeah. We got a touch. That's why you have those four eyes out there, four sets of eyes out there. Roger Hefner called that one from his line judge position. The ball changed direction. It looked like it had been hit. I thought it was a good call. Berkey sets. So does Ramble. That ball is hit. The Schwederman. Next ball's blocked at the net by Bryn Clark. She got all that. Here's the libero, Ashley Nuss, 5'8", junior. 25 aces for her this year. That's blocked. Rammel will set again. The ball gets hit to Berkey. This will be born. Just kind of free balls at this time. The hit was by Sierra Graber. The block came from Salina. Will be their point. We tied it. We talked about our second match tonight. Liberty Benton and Shawnee. The winners come back here at six o'clock on Thursday evening for the district championship. Good hit by Clark. Played in the back row. Clark again with a block. Oh, what a play by Peyton Berkey. You like that center to go up in the left oh, hand, don't you, Deb? I do. I do like that. We've seen more and more of that this year with setters being active and aggressive. Berkey has actually has 91 kills, and she's the setter. That's going to be an ace. Hits the tape and rolls over. Hold on. Biggest lead of this set for Salina. They're up two. Gisagi serves again. We've been through one rotation now in set two. That kill will go to bring Clark. Point. 
10-9. Darcy Liming will enter, play in the front row. As Willie Ramel goes to serve. And service here. 11-9. Comes Amelia Lutz back in, and as she does so, Brooks and Bourne will serve. Ramel sets. Clark gets out of the middle where it's blocked. That hit was by Liming and Lutz. That one's blocked to a point. Darcy Liming got that one, I think. Yes, she did. A double block, I think it was her. Sierra Graber will serve. That was blocked. It was not blocked, was it? No, yeah. Rough the net blocked it. Yeah. Here's Graber again. A very tight match here in set two. Lutz just tips it over. Good play by Rammel. Keep it alive. And they can't keep that one alive, and the point goes to Rough Riders. Rough Riders. That's the first time they scored three consecutive points here in set two. Each team has done it once. It's just been close for the yeah. whole set. Ball is overpassed, and that will be a Rough Rider point. Overpasses make it awfully tough for your setter. Good She's job by row. she could have hit it across. Good, good job by the St. Mary's to wait till it got into yeah. the plane of the net to play it too, yes, rather go up true. too early. <laughs> See a blocker, Cora Langenkamp scores. <laughs> and that will allow Samantha Jenkins to serve. He played that one, then Lutz gets the block. And it's in the net again. Darcy Lyming again, along with Brim Clark. 14-12. Shawnee and Liberty Benton in the bleachers on the far side of the court. They're waiting to get on uh, when this one comes to an end. Good block. They double blocking every chance they get. Lutz just rolls it this time. Rammel will back set. And off a of blocker, the point goes to Darcy Liming. Just got to get their hands on the net. 15 12 now, St. Mary's. Clark serves. And Lutz puts it away. 15 13. Be the left-handed Peyton Berkey to serve this ball. And big hit out of the middle. Is that Clark? I think so. Yeah, it was. Big Clark. <laughs> Three-point lead for St. Mary's as Graceland Johns will serve. Ball was hit, I believe. That touched. Was touched. Yeah, yeah, it was that touched. Was touched. The kill will go to Miley oh, Sapp. Oh. Trailing by two, Amelia Lutz will serve. And she gets an ace. Oh, oh, Amelia has 46 of those through their opening 24 matches. Second team all conference in the uh, Western Buckeye League this year. And 
touch. Well, looking around, nobody's got a touch on the kill attempt by Houston. And we're tied at 16. Billy Lutz will serve again. Ramble tips. Schwimmer got to that one. This will be born. Just like in the opening set, we played 33 points, haven't had a timeout yet. Ramble sets up Clark, who plays it to the middle of the floor to keep it alive. And what do we got? Yep, the long contact was the call. Thank you. Two-point lead with Hallie Houston to serve. She was a third-team Western Buckeye League player this year. Sapp goes off a blocker, and we'll get a point out of it. 18-17. Schwedeman to serve. And it comes back. Bulldogs. Should have been able to serve again. Ramble runs a long way to get to that one before it's free balled over by Graber. Back set in the kill. There we go, Holstead. Bulldogs. Yep, we see a lot of volleyball, uh, a lot of good teams, but Salina plays as well towards the end of a set as anybody we've seen this year. Yeah, they uh, know how to close a game out. Finishing is very important. There's eight seniors. That one goes off a blocker on the yeah. kill by Graber. We did the Wapak Salina match, which ended up being for the WBL championship. They were down 24 21 in set one and in set three and came back and won both of them. Um, they, they don't get shook when you've got that much experience on your on your bench. A few sets again. That's blocked at the net by Graber. That one is blocked. We're going to do that one to bring Brent Clark. Six foot junior Bryn Clark puts that one back. And her team leads by one as their libero Ashley Ness will serve. That touch? No, it was not touched. I didn't think it was. 21 19. Salina timeout this time. They trail by two here in set two. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. Season 18 of the Sports Report is on every Friday night. You can catch coverage of high school playoff football on Friday nights at 10 p.m. on WTLW. Salina trying to climb back, and they go right to Brooklyn Bourne, and she will get, an a, get a kill out of it. What you want coming out of a timeout? Yep, call a play, give it to your go-to girl. Sarah Gieske will enter, been through the rotation twice now, in set two. Clark hits that one to Gieske, the set by Schwederman. That ball comes back, let's talk with another block. Brynn Clark is a blocking machine this set. She has had a bunch of them this set, and that puts her team up two, as Willie Ramble goes to serve. 52 aces for her on the season. She leads this team. Almost had one right there. Bourne hits it over. She hit. A tip. Yeah. Is that off a tip? No. Nobody has it. Rough riders. Nope. Rough riders two points away from evening this up. And we're going to get a second. So we're going to time out here in this set. The, 
TV44 and WS Center nonprofit organizations supported by viewers like you. Now is a great time to make a donation in any size as a way to say thank you for this sports broadcast. Go to WTLW.com and click Donate here. Donations are accepted 24 hours a day, so you can just visit WTLW.com. Our Wabash Mutual scoreboard says Salina 23, excuse me, St. Mary's 23, Salina 20. Hence the second time out by Phil Bangy here in this set. So give a lot of credit to Bryn Clark. Yeah, Bryn has, I've got her down for uh, five blocks this, this set. She has been a beast at the net as the six foot junior. Her team is two points away from evening this up in a set apiece. Lily Rammel will serve. Good serve. And that ball was just kind of played across by Cora Langenkamp. Kind of thrown over. 23-21. And back to serve now will be Brooklyn Bourne. 5-8 senior. 57 aces leads this team this year in 74 sets play. That's block. And nobody saw oh. it. Oh. That breaks your heart. Ball popped up in the air and nobody saw it. Couldn't get to it to make a play on it. Slot of trails by one. Born to serve again. Good line drive serve played by Nuss. She has picked this team up on her shoulders and is carrying them. She got a great set that time and just pounded it inside the line. Here's Sierra Graber trying to serve out set two. Lutz hits it off a block and gets a point. Samantha Jenkins will serve with her team down one here in set two. St. Mary's trying to close it out and even this thing up at one set apiece. And, and they do on the miss it. So we will go to set three, tied at one set apiece. That one was 25-23 St. Mary's. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. Today's scoreboard is presented by Wabash Mutual Telephone, a proud supporter of Mercer County Athletics. And our scoreboard has each team winning a set. We are here at the Summer Center in the Copeland Court at Bluffton University. Deb Shank, your thoughts on set two? Um, St. Mary's had to win that one, and they did. They did it with defense, blocking, blocking, blocking. And uh, I gotta, can't say enough for Bryn Clark. Not only was she huge in blocking, but she, she had four kills, and she was, uh, she was just all over the place. She did play extremely well, and we're going to go to set three. We're going to be tied at one set apiece. You know, Deb, one of the things we like to do at WOSN is welcome new family members, and Megan Sherrick went, welcome a new family member this week. <laughs> Athena the Labradoodle showed up. And uh, now have a, a what uh, a, a, a fur a, baby. A, a fur that very good. A Thank fur you. Baby. Yeah. So congratulations, Athena. We'll look forward to future nights of having pictures of her. I'm sure. I'm sure. All right. Well, we're going to go to set three, and we're going to do so with the uh, libero serving, and that is Ashley Nuss. Kill attempt was by Holstead. Now we're going to go to Bourne. She goes through a blocker. There's Clark again. Holstead pushes to the back row where Nuss has it. And then Clark puts it away. That was a really good St. Mary's point. That really was. Good defense. Um, and one great big hit. In the second set, Salinas had a run where they scored six out of seven points between the two teams. Salina didn't match that, but had a lot of close two and three and four sets. We're going to push across for a point there. Salina has lots of runs of two or three points, but uh, no one big run, but enough to win the set. Yeah, no, it was close back and forth the whole way. Sarah Gieseke will serve. We're tied at one. 
That ball is tipped across by Rammel. What's it going to be? Prolonged Prolong contact. Prolong contact. 2 1 Salina. Interesting to see if Salina can take the momentum back or if St. Mary's continues the run here in set three. That ball is blocked. Langenkamp is there. So was Berkey. Sarah Giesecke has served two points, and her team leads by two. Good set. Oh, my. Wow, in a very difficult circumstance, that was a nice set, and then Clark put it away. Yeah, setting that ball coming out of the net, that was a nice play. Here's Lily Rammel to serve. Born hits it over, and Rammel will set. The kill attempt was by Liming, and then Burke just comes back at her. Born is going to hit too far. The tie to three. And she missed the serve. Here's Bourne to serve. And right on the back line as well. Kind of a knuckleball type. It's dropped right there. 5-3. Behind the 10-foot line, that kill was tempered by Hunt Houston to get to be a point. That's what an overpass will do to you yeah. when you've got a six-footer up there in the front row. Well, you don't want to set the other team, do you? No. Not, not typically a good idea. Well, here we go with Darcy Liming to serve this one. That's an overpass, and guess what happened again to Brink Clark? She's just saying thank you very much. Oh, yes. Lutz. That hits over, hit over by Houston. Here's Lutz again, and she's kind of fisted over and gets a point because by doing so. Wasn't much she could do with it. Still got a point. No, it's kind of spun after she hit it with her fist. Here's Samantha Jenkins with her team up a point. Bring Clark. Bring Clark has had quite the match beginning in, uh, actually the whole match, but especially in set two, and she will now go back to serve. Schwederman has to just push it over. And we get a kill. That one was going to Darcy Liming. 7 6. Rough Riders are taking the lead. Clark serves again. That kill out of the middle will go to Molly Sack. The tie at 7. Peyton Burkey will serve. 5 9 senior. Russ has to play that one. And that will be a four contact by Haley Houston and she ended in the antenna. 8-7. Yeah. A good serve. Ramble sets up Liming. And then Schwederman plays it over. 
And trying to tip the ball to the open spot with Hallie Houston, but she missed the sideline. Here's Berkey again. Nine, eight. Graceland Johns serves and will play back row. She and Darcy Lyman are kind of on a rope. One's on the front, one's in the back. Once the rotation goes through, here's Let's to serve. Eleven eight. Lutz again. First time anybody's led by three in set three. And off the, off the block. Yeah, Hallie Houston hit it off the block for the point. Eleven nine. And Hallie Houston gets to serve. 5-10 senior. Overpass again. And then Brooklyn Bourne comes up to put one away. Hold on. And that's her first one this set, so. And that could have been disastrous right there, the way that yeah. overpass went. But they still were able to get a point out of it. Here's Allison Schwederman to serve. Ooh, got to that one too. And then what's the call? Yeah, that landed on Salina's side. It did. I wasn't sure whether she'd reached over the net to play or not. I waited to make the call. She yeah. did not. No, I don't think she did. I'm a little off the center of the net here, so sometimes it's hard to tell on that, but point went to Salina. Off the blocker goes Ruby Holstead. 13-10. He's the game winner to serve. In? Nope. Out. The strong 14 10. Bulldogs. He's the game. Wow. And came back to Nuss and went out of bounds. Hold on. 15 10. I don't want to get too many, many more points down. It gets tough to come back at this point in the game. Tip to an open area, but Bourne's there. And then Bourne winds up and goes off the blocker for a point. 16 Hold 10. On. And we have a St. Mary's timeout. We're in set three. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. We're back at the Summers Center here at Bluffton University. Salina with a six-point lead here in set number three. Sarah Giesecke will serve. And she has to play that hit. Here's Bourne. Big hit. Good play in the back row, though. And it's going to go out. 17-10. Five consecutive points. Four of them on service by Sarah Giesecke. Out of the middle, that hit's going to be a point for Cora Langenkamp. Graber tried to play the, the first hit, couldn't get a point out of it. The Gisagi will serve. Just dumped over, Bourne hits it back. And then Clark puts it away. Yeah. Well, we need a point. Where do you go, Deb? You go to your hot hand, and that's that's Bryn Clark. 
The team trails by seven here in this set with really Ramble to serve. I wouldn't mind being Coach uh, Kelly, Kaylee Yoder and having Bryn Clark and Lily Ramble back next year, both juniors. No, that's a good problem to have. Bourne hits it long, 18-12. Both juniors, Bryn Clark was first team Western Buckeye League, Lily Ramble was second. Good, good players to build behind. They only have uh, four seniors on their roster. Mm -hmm. Oh, quick set hit on the middle by Langenkamp. 19-12. That used to be the go-to set for your middle. Yeah, I don't see it very much anymore. It's that little short set in the middle. Here's Bourne to serve. Ramble sets up Clark, but hits it to Gisagi. Lutz just hits it to the back row where it's played by Houston. And that kill, we could chuck it up to Sierra Graber. St. Mary's has not scored more than two consecutive points here in set three. In fact, they have been side out. Let's see how this one goes. Fuderman gets to that one. This will be Lutz. She hits it to Nuss. Ramla has a long way to go to get to that one. Finally, it's free balled over. Lutz tips to an open area. It's blocked. Comes right back by Darcy Liming. Trailing by five. Let's see if the service by Graber can get him three consecutive points for the first time in this set. Not that time because Langenkamp hit it through a block. Hold on. That's tough to react that quickly. When you block one, it comes straight down. You've got two people together, who's going to get it? That's. I don't have that kind of reaction time. St. Mary's has served nine times today in this set. Four of them have been side outs. The other four, five have been just two points. Or a single point. Not that time. Let's see what happens on this one. This will be their tenth service with uh, Sprint Clark going back to serve. Good serve off the net. Played by Gisagi. Lutz will hit that one, but we have four contacts. Six of the last eight points have gone to St. Mary's. They still trail by four. And that time, they're going to get three points in a row for the first time in this set. And we're going to get a, a Salina timeout. Our break also. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. The free WSN Scores app is the easiest way to follow local high school sports. No one covers more schools, more sports, and more scores than WSN. Search WSN in the App Store or the Android Play Store. Wabash Mutual Telephone Scoreboard says 20 for Salina, 17 for St. Mary's, and we're in set three. Each team has called a timeout in this set. And they keep it alive. I thought it was this hit one. A long time pass again. Oh. So now four consecutive points. Three of them on the service of Bryn Clark. And they struck that one up. 32 aces for her this season. Clark trying to even it up in set three. We're tied at 20. Each team has won a set. And Lutz puts it away. 
one of those eight seniors that they have. Yep. And when uh, you need somebody to pick up the game for you, go to your seniors for sure. Here's one of those, Peyton Berkey to serve. Overpass that time and got number 10 in the net. That would be Halle Houston. 22-20. Salina. That still goes to that Olstead, I think. Olstead, yes. He'd be Olstead, and this time it will be a St. Mary's timeout. This will be their second. What questions do you have about life and about God, about things happening in your community or family? Get answers when you watch Life Questions. Each week, four local pastors will discuss relevant topics and answer questions submitted by people just like you. Life Questions is on TV 44 Sundays at 1.30 and Wednesdays at 9.30 p.m. You can also find it online at WTLW.com. Lots of playoff football coming up this weekend on WOSN. Southern Black River will be at Columbus Grove. This is one of our matches. Upper Soda Valley will host Pandora Gilboa. Van Wert will be uh, we're hosting Wasion this weekend. Archibald will have a home game that you'll catch on our channel as well. What do you think about this expansion of to well, 16 teams? I, am, uh, I got a lot of reasons to be against it, but we'll leave it at that. Okay. Here's Berkey with her team up by three, trying to close this one out in set three. There you go. Alex. And they're going to keep it alive. And then behind the 10-foot line, Berkey rolls it over. And then right back to a kill, we're going to Darcy Lyman. Uh, my, my first thought is, Deb, we don't ask professionals or college players to play 16 consecutive weeks. Right. And yet we ask high school kids to do it for a state championship, and I, I think it's too much. I, I do, too. I do, too. Uh, quite honestly, if you told me, overpass, let's see what St. Mary's does with it. The libero sets, and then the kill attempt wow. misses by uh, Houston. If you told me I got to play or I got to coach 16 weeks to be a state champion, I'll sign up for that. But I just don't think it's fair to young young people in Maskin to do that. So, um, especially a lot of these guys play both ways, and they're playing hurt. Salina trying to close out the set. Let's see what happens right here. To keep it alive, does St. Mary's and Born to Berkey uh. set uh, Born sets. Oh, this has been a funky point all the way around, but it will go the way of the Salina Bulldogs, and they will take set three, 25-21. They will take a two-set to one lead as we head to set number four. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. Today's scoreboard is presented by Wabash Mutual Telephone, proud supporter of Mercer County Athletics. Shine and Deb Shank here. St. Mary's comes, wins set two, but Salina's won one and three. What kind of numbers you got there, Deb? Um, yeah, the blocking from St. Mary's that helped them win that, that second set dropped off dramatically in the third set. And it looked like Salina picked theirs up. I, I think most of the difference was defensive. Each team had a six-point run, but uh, St. Mary's said that Salina had just enough to win a few extra points here and there, and they end up winning it. All the sets have been closed. Set one was 25-19 in favor of Salina. St. Mary's won 25-23. That set was 25-21 in favor of Salina. And with a two set to one lead, they will now serve. The winner gets the winner. Uh, the winner of this one gets to play the winner of Liberty Benton and Shawnee, which will follow this telecast. There's Sarah Gisagi to serve. Contact. We haven't had many of those. We've had some prolonged no. contact. Yeah. We've not had many of those. Willie Ramble will serve. I think that's only the second one we've had all night. Yeah. First point goes to St. Mary's. Quick set out of the middle, and that will be a point to Coral Langan can't. I missed it, but I got a point out of it. Yeah. It wasn't beautiful. 
You're in the, in the district semis. You know what? Beautiful, beautiful, doesn't, beautiful matter. Doesn't, <laughs> doesn't, doesn't matter. matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't. Brooklyn Bourne will serve. Lutz plays it first. There's a set. And out. Two one. This will be liming to serve. Russ has to set that one from her libero position. Lutz hits it to Houston. And then Houston kind of free balls it over. And got a touch. What do they got? Oh, yeah. They're calling touch. But looked immediately at the line judge. He called touch. Comes Samantha Jenkins to serve. 5'7 senior. 30 aces for her this year. And that will be an ace. And to Salina. We're in the fourth set. We've been playing for an hour and 15 minutes. Houston hits that off a blocker. And then Lutz goes off a blocker. Good save by Ramble. And... St. Mary's will get a point out. That was a really nice play. That was. Nice dig to keep the ball alive. Really Ramble went down hard and flexing her right shoulder, right arm. Yeah, that hurt. Well, she fell hard. 4-3 Salina. Here's Peyton Burkey to serve. Volleyball ping pong stuff at the net. And Berkey hits it over. That's a really nice set. They kept it alive. Those liberos have, have become second setters. They they have. There's a lot of people complaining about that too. <laughs> they get in front of that 10 foot line as They're long as they play it underhand. They can set it underhand. They can set. A lot of times you've seen a lot of teams just use that as a second option. Because they're supposed to be a defensive player. Ball misses. 6 3. Salina, they got them doubled up here in set four. This will bring a sub in. This is Cadence Hirschfeld. She's a sophomore, and she will enter. And play in the back row. Here's Burke Key to serve again. And going down line with a point, Tyler Houston. Yeah, as usual, you set the sub and or serve to the sub. They did, and she made a real nice pass she out did, of it. Yep. So, good job. And Graceland Johns will enter. Graceland will play and serve this one, play in the back row. Freeman has to go get that one. Born from behind the 10 foot line. It's like beach volleyball. I mean, picnic volleyball. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah, beach volleyball is a whole lot different than what it used to be. Yeah, that, call, that has yeah. a different connotation. Yeah, today. We, we better go with picnic volleyball. How's that? <laughs> Either way, it's a Salina point. As Amelia Lutz will serve, her team's up three, and Smith comes up short. 7-5. Here's Hallie Houston to serve. Really, Sunderhouse will enter and play in the back row. 
Berkey goes a long way to get that one. Horn. Graber picks it away. Six. Allie Houston serves. And it's blocked to a point. Eight six. Back set. Oh, that kill will go to Addison Wallace. 8-7. If that voice in the background on the PA sounds familiar to you, that's Evan Skilleter, whose day job is working for WSN and moonlights by being a full-time professor here at Bluffton University. So he pretends like he knows something, right? Yeah, he right? does. <laughs> Those golden tones over there you can hear from Evan. Real blocker of the point by Evie Holstead. Oh, wow. Trying to remember our fifth telecast game. It will be Fort Recovery at Minster this week. Thanks to Megan Sherrick for reminding me of that. That's where her crew is headed. Sarah Giesecki to serve. We've been through each rotation once. Clark waits and then hits it. We'll time that one up a bit. Langley camp this time in the middle and Bourne couldn't get it across. Nine eight. Will it ramble to serve? Bourne off. Two blockers that time. There's Ramble to set. Clark out of the middle. And she missed the sideline. Hold on. St. Mary's has had six service opportunities in this set. Five of them have been side outs. And there's an ace. Looks at 11 8. Brooklyn Bourne had 57 aces in the first 24 matches for Phil Bangy's team. Lutz will wind up, but she hits it right to Rammel. There's your libero Nuss with a set. And missing the back line with Hallie Houston. Slana goes up four. With Bourne to serve again. Rammel sets Clark in the middle. That's played by Giesecki. And that kill, give that one to Sierra Graber. Yeah, thank you. I the, catch the number for her. Thank you very much. <laughs> they have uh, cooled off. Sarah Bryn Graber. Clark. Yeah, yes. they have, they have uh, cooled her down. Graber serves that one. Let's try to tip it. Has to play it herself. And then in the front row, Peyton Kirk is allowed to hit that one. 13-9. Peyton Berkey as a setter with 91 kills in 24 matches this year. Jenkins serves. Clark tried to tip it to an open area and gets a point by doing so. 13-10. Here's Brent Clark to serve. 32 aces this year were second on third on the team. Sap. Used to hit that one. Turkey tried to hit it, went into the net. It's only the second time that St. Mary's has not gone side out here in set four. Sapp hits it long. 
They scored a lot of points when Clark served in set three. They're trying to do it again in set four. Sap hit that one. Now Clark has to set, and she will do so for Houston. And it's Clark out of bounds. We're tied at 13. Four consecutive points for the Rough Riders have tied this one up. And this is going to be a tough one to get across. Here's Lutz going to free ball it over. See if St. Mary's can use it. And that goes to Schwederman. And they do. That's out. Ooh. Oh, my oh, she goodness. She got it. They almost got there. And she can almost. play that ball over there. Correct? She can as long as she keeps one foot in fair territory. Five consecutive Rough Rider points. They take a one-point lead. We're going to have a timeout. You're watching High School Volleyball on the OSN. There's no mission fee to watch this game, but there is a cost for us to broadcast. Say thanks to viewers supporting TV44 by sending financial gifts. TV44 relies on the donations of viewers to enable airing this game and other locally produced programs. Donate now at WTLW.com and click Donate here. Five consecutive Rough Rider points, hence the timeout by Phil Bangy. Clark to serve again. And they go to Amelia Lutz, and she hits one off a blocker for a point. I think I've seen that movie before coming out of a timeout. <laughs> I think so, too. Uh, Salina's big attack comes from their outside hitter, so it's not surprising that that's where they went. Here is Peyton Berkey to serve with a score tied at 14. Houston. Holstead just pushes it across. Back set, and the kill goes to Darcy Lining. First one, John Santos. Goes back to serve. Out of the middle. Sap hit that one. Clark pushes that one, and she will get a point. No, that was not Clark. That was Lau. Well, they both have a long, dark ponytail, don't they? <laughs> Biggest lead here in this set for... St. Mary's just two points, but that represents their biggest lead in set four. Sap hits it. Has touched. Well, nobody had it. Okay. Way up above at the, the bleachers, we kind of look like it too, but yeah. uh, nobody on the floor. They got a better view than we do. So, three point Rough Rider lead. Trying to get to set five. Houston will get this tip. Lutz from the 10 foot line. Houston winds up, hits that one, and gets a point. Now they go up four here in set four. This would be John's continuing to serve. She scored two consecutive points. That's hits it from a tough angle. Lina breaks the string. Was that Peyton Berkey that hit that? You know, I had this little railing we yeah. got in front of us in my way, and I couldn't tell who hit it. I don't think it was. And short serve. <laughs> Ten out of the last 12 points have gone the way of St. Mary's. They have a four-point lead. And just a tip for a point by Evie Holstead. Here's Allison Schwederman, the junior, to serve.
Born hits it to Houston. That was Langenkamp hit that one, and tip is in. Four points, St. Mary's lead. Their libero will serve. Alex Ashley Nuss. Just dumped over that time by Berkey. And then the kill out of the middle goes to Green Clark. Salina timeout. They trail by five and set four. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. We're back at the Summer Center here, the Copeland Court here at Bluffton University. Salina trails by five. St. Mary's trying to take it to a set five. Salina has used two timeouts. And Deb, you were saying they didn't do much since the last timeout. No, they they only uh, scored three points to seven for St. Mary's. So they need to um, pick up offensively and defensively. And the pass right is now. very well in uh, this set. Yeah, the pass, it's, passing is making it tough to run an offense. There's actually Nuss to serve. Put the ball on Evie Holstead's hand, but, but again, missed. she's on the 10 foot line yeah. making that back set. Nuss, her team needs three. Good serve. Horn. Houston. Ramo will set. Roth hits that one. That's a better set. That's a, a that's better pass, the pass, excuse me. Want. And the fall they out. Block it out. That's the pass you were looking for, wasn't it? Absolutely, and it makes all the difference in the world. Here comes Gisagi to serve. The team trails by five. Oh, just missed. Oh. That hurts. I was watching that knuckleball, and I thought it was going to fall, and it didn't. So it's now it's... St. Mary's two points away from extending this to a fifth set. Ramble to serve. Bourne wants this one, and she got it, and it's blocked. Bourne again. This time she tips it, and Ramble will set. Bourne goes again and falls in on the block. St. Mary's a point away from a set five match. Tipped across by Langenkamp. There's a ball put into Houston's hands. And oh, stays alive. Horn will serve. Twenty-four, eighteen. St. Mary's takes set four, 25-18. Final set coming up after this. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. Today's scoreboard is presented by Wabash Mutual Telephone. Proud supporter of Mercer County Athletics. And we will go to a fifth set. Deb, that last set, the Salina Bulldogs were outscored 16 to 5 after having a four-point lead. I don't know. It almost looked like they were playing careful there at the end. And you start playing careful, you're gonna you're gonna lose. Now this loses to 15, and you get two timeouts. 
Absolutely. So you can't get down. You you've got to you've got to match point for point if you want to stay in this. Well, that goes for both teams. An early burst of points really favors that team. Doesn't it really it? does. It really does. It puts pressure on. And this is tournament time. You've got eight seniors over here who don't want to go home. You've got four seniors on this side who don't want to go home. Don't want to go home. Salina has eight seniors. St. Mary's has four. And we will play first one to 15, win by two. Ashley Nuss will serve. The winner gets the winner of Liberty Benton and Shawnee coming up after this one. And what do we got? We have... Somebody in the net. 13. 13, Graber. First point will go to Salina. Here comes Sarah Gisagi to serve. Russ finally gets it over on the free ball, and then that was blocked. Berkey tips. Peyton Berkey scores. What do we got? Well, we talked about an illegal libero set. That was called by our R2. Uh-oh, he's coming over to talk to Sue about it. He called a, uh, a fingertip set in front of the 10-foot line. In front of line. the 10-foot line. Uh, the libero has to use underhand action. Well, she can set it that way, but they can't attack it. It's correct. And if she does uh, uh, set it uh, with fingertip action, she has to be behind the 10-foot line. So a lot of little yep. rules involved there. Yeah. He's now explaining it to Coach Bangy, and uh, that was his call, however, and we're going to be tied at one. So Berkey could have hit that ball if she had contacted it below the below the, net. the Below the net, yeah. She could have played it over below the level of the net. Well, whatever it is, we're tied at one, and we'll now go to service by Lily Rammel. Look for Bourne. We'll tip to the middle of the floor and get a point. 2-1 Salina as Lutz enters. And Bourne will go to the back row to serve. District Finals are here Thursday night at 6 p.m. The winner goes on to Galleon in the Regionals next week. The winner of the Thursday night match, will I should say. And that's going to be pushed out of bounds. We're tied at two. Somebody named Gates Mill Hawkins is probably waiting over there in that Galleon Regional. If they don't get upset, they were the number five team in the state this year, a perennial power. Gates Mills Academy's a... Good school. Lutz, two hand tips, but she hits it to Houston. Um, Did you hear everybody on the court yelling, stay down? Yeah. The, the libero came in and yeah. set the ball with fingertip action and yeah. immediately started yelling, stay down. Stay so down. Wouldn't, wouldn't contact the ball about the height of the net. Good, good heads up play by a senior group. Here's Jenkins to serve. And we're in a top row with headsets on. I heard people yell on that one. That one's blocked. I think somebody named Bryn Clark got that one. She's done that a couple times tonight. Yes, she has. The blocking from St. Mary's has made a big difference. And we are tied at three as Bryn Clark will serve. Tip to the middle of the floor, and a point goes to Miley Sack. Oh, you're seeing those double blockers trying to just tip it over them right now. Well, you can't, you, if you try to hit over them, it's going to fly out of bounds. So if you're going over them, tipping is the way to go. Bourne has to just roll shot it over. Houston winds up, hits that one. Yeah, yeah it's going off the Each team has served four times. Each team has gone side out. And number four, Grayson Johns will serve. Did that get down? It did. I was waiting for the call. Five, four. 
same thing, a tip over the block. Lutz to serve. So they got to cover their blocker better. Houston, and that comes up short for the first time. Somebody scores on serve. Two-point lead, Salina. Over pass. That's blocked by Bourne. Bramble tried to play it over, but Bourne got there at the same time, and we're going to get our first time out. Here in set five, that will go to St. Mary's. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. Well, it's playoff time, as you can tell by this five-set volleyball match. The WOSN and the WTLW has the sports report every Friday night at 10 p.m. A couple of football games to go along with it, and stay tuned for playoff football action this weekend as well. we got soccer and volleyball, too, this week. Busy time. Three-point lead with Lutz to serve. And what do we got? Oh, a long contact. A long contact. Yeah, it rolled up her arm, didn't it? Yes, it did. Now, you can hit it twice when you go on first contact, but it can't stay on your arm and roll up it. No. Nope. Salina's got doubled up, 8-4. And so they go to Addison Loth, and she scores to break the string. 8-5. Holly Houston to serve. Bourne hits it long. 8 6. Houston serve was the first time after, after four times the team was able to score on service. First four were side outs. And what do we got? Our R1. Sue Kramer is talking with the captain of Salina. I'm not sure, Deb, what that's all about. Um, I'm in the dark on that one. Yeah. Whatever it is. And they missed it, didn't they? There's yeah. an overpass that time yeah. on the first time, first pass. Yeah, the pass was um, real close to the, to the net. A lot of people like that. People who jump set love that. Trailing by a point, Service Houston. And they have to run a long way. That's to outside. Run out. yep. Went outside the antenna. We're tied at eight. Three consecutive service points. Holly Houston. It's a seed who doesn't want to go home. And time this out. time we get a Salina timeout. Tied at eight. Now in college, they would be switching sides when the team gets to eight. You know, uh, when COVID came, we stopped switching sides here in high school volleyball. And I guess in a facility like this, it doesn't really matter one yeah. end or the other. So why yeah. not just stay where you are? Th they like it because, well, for one, I mean, they were telling you you had to clean off the chairs. You had to clean the balls. You had to do all this cleaning in between. And the matches, you'd be at school till midnight. <laughs> So they decided to stay put, and they liked it, so they stay. And look, so unless there's a disadvantage at one end, they stay put. And there are, uh, with today's more modern gyms, there are very few of those. Very, very few. Well. Maybe a junior high game. It's now a seven-point match. First one to 15, win by two. Hallie Houston to serve again. She's got three points in a row in her service. Rambo will set. Kill a temper by Graber. Good play by Houston there. Graber tips it. Sapp just kind of bangs it over. A yeah, awkward that was, that was too low. Yeah. Here's back set and kind of a soft hit by Evie Holston, but the block put it out of bounds. 9-8 as Allison Sweeterman will serve. Close to an ace for Allison. 
And he's out. He is in. The tied at nine. Talked about side outs. Five side outs for Solana. Just one time have they scored off of serve. Yeah, that was a four, yeah. And for the first time in this set, St. Mary's goes up. 10-9. These team has used a timeout in this set. On our Wabash Mutual Telephone Scoreboard. Overpass, yeah. it's a point. Yeah. What do we got? That's an illegal back uh, block because the setter had her hand up above the net. They blocked it into her hand, which made her a blocker, and she can't do that when she's a back row player. Now, you're talking about the block on the uh, Salina side, which was illegal, so it was going to be their point anyway, St. Mary's. Yes. Yeah, when uh, playing those balls up above the net, she was still up above the net when St. Mary's blocked it, and it hit her hand while it was still above the net, so that makes her now an illegal blocker. Check out the website, WSN.TV, for scores and standings for more sports and teams than anyone else in the state. Check out our broadcast schedule, upcoming games, and social media posts, and more at WSN.TV. St. Mary's, four points away from the offset here in set five. Salina trying to hang on. They've used both of their timeouts. The crowd is in it. Yes, they are. Here's Ashley Nuss to serve. Salina was seated second in this tournament. Born. Born again, just kind of roll shots this time. Set. Good play by Schwederman to keep it alive. Schwederman's going to set Born. And Born just got it, but not well enough. 11-10, St. Mary's. Sarah Gieseke went to the serve. This has been a tremendous high school volleyball match, approaching a two hours in length. Schwederman makes a great play on that ball. And Berkey hits it over. Overpass, but they're going to keep it alive. Here's Berkey again, and it's tip. And what do we got? Four contact? And four, four contact. St. Mary's up three with their setter, Lily Ramble to serve. <laughs> Berkey sets Bourne, and Bourne gets the point. Hold on. 12-10. Salina needs to score off of service. They've only done so yeah. one time in this set, Deb, because yeah. the defense they has been so good. It. They need to tie this up. Got to win by two. First one to 15. <laughs> Born has to go get that one. And it goes down. down. Thirteen, eleven, two-point lead. St. Mary's service will be Sierra Graber. Let's hit that ball. Ramble will set. Houston hits. Let's again. And that tip. Good play by Clark, but they get to it. And let's hit that ball over. Oh, that. And then Clark. Clark put it down. Put it out of bounds. Out. Hold on. That was the call. It is now. 13-12. Samantha Jenkins will serve. And what do we got? We have water on the floor. They've been playing a long time. Now they're getting they. sweaty. <laughs> 
Everybody has a chance to kind of collect their breath for a moment, too. Jenkins will serve five, seven seniors. She has 30 aces this year. Clark goes off a block. It's hit. Clark gets it again. And Clark will score. That was a matter of keep that ball on your side of the net. Here is St. Mary's with Bryn Clark serving. Trying to beat the Western Buckeye League regular season champion. And did that fall in? Some, yeah, somebody was in the net. They did. Yeah. 14 13. They have to score on serve here. Which they've only match. done once in set number and, four. And this match will be over if they don't. Berkey serves. Russ got to that one. Here's a push to the back row. Lutz wants the ball. Sort of sap. Good play by Nuss. Lutz will pass. Tip. Point. Miley Sapp put the ball in the middle of the floor. We're tied at 14. That's a sophomore stepping up. She wanted that ball. Berkey's to serve again. Rammel will set. Lutz hits it to Nuss. Rammel sets again to Houston this time. And it gets a point. Fifteen fourteen. St. Mary's. Ooh, second chance at match point here. Graceland John serving on match point. Sap. Oh my goodness. <laughs> my goodness. What did the sophomore do right there, Deb? That sophomore just showed she's she's not a little sophomore anymore. <laughs> she is not. And here is Amelia Lutz to serve. We're tied at 15. Ramble sets. Houston free balls it. And gets a point out of it. Here we go again. Another set point. Hallie Houston to serve this one. Set point, match point. Lily Sunderhouse came into the game. For Salina. They're going to get a shot at Tip. Sweetman gets to it. Sap tips again. Dust got that one. Born to Nuss. Nuss got that one again. What a play by her this point. Born tips. Goodness, what a point. Sap will push it again. Ramble keeps it alive, and they bump it over. Good pass. Sweetheart got to that. She reached across. Yeah, she reached across yep. to that, didn't she? Yes. Yep. Yep. Can't block a yeah. set. Pretty easy call. The setter was there to play the ball. The ball was not getting to play in the net. Pretty easy call. Yeah. You can't block that set. She's there. Ball's not traveling toward the net. It was traveling along the net. Easy call. Miley Sapp went to the, it was her turn to rotate out, and she went like she was exhausted. I think Brooklyn Bourne has a cut or something on her finger. They made her step out. She acts like she's in pain. She I does. Like maybe she jammed a thumb or something. Coach has no timeouts left. No, he doesn't. And we are tied at 16. Now he gets 30 seconds to replace her. Yeah. 
And here is the, the call. So 30 seconds and 15 now, Deb. It's 30. It's 30 now. I, I knew it's it was 30. Uh, he has 30 seconds to make a decision. Timeout, substitution, well, or he can't she's call off time. the floor. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to do it. She's going to come back in. Five bucks. <laughs> yeah. You're, you're a senior. She's we're a senior. 16. She's coming in. That thumb falls off. She's coming in. I don't know. She's uh, in a great deal of pain. We're going to take some time and wipe up perspiration off the floor. Oh, she got blood on the floor. That's what the situation is. And we're tied at 16. I didn't see him bandage anything. Well, she has to be careful. She wipes that blood on her uniform shirt. That'll take her out of yeah, the mat. Yeah, that'll take her out, too. Well, either way, they're going to get a chance to get her back on the floor. She said, I'll slap your hands. Don't slap my hands very hard, though. That's a flag when she picked up her and I saw that red. I thought, my gosh, she's bleeding yeah, all yeah. over. <laughs> well, Deb, one way or other, this has been a tremendous high school volleyball match, and we are tied at 16, and who knows how long we're going to be here yet. Yeah, and you're not going to find two teams that know each other better than these two teams. I mean, they live within 10 miles of each other. Well, Brooklyn Board will stay in the match. Yeah, she doesn't want to come out. Her no. hand would have to fall off before she'd come out. You know, I think I forgot to write down a timeout. Has St. Mary's called a timeout in this set? They did, correct? At, they, at seven eight, four. St. Mary's did it seven to four. Seven to four, and yeah. Salon has used both of theirs, so they still have a timeout yet for the team wearing black and gold this evening. And now what are we doing? Checking lineups to make sure everybody's in the right spot. This would not be a good time to have a somebody out of rotation. Oh, oh no. No, that would be bad. I can tell you, we talked about how hard Miley Sapp has played. She, she went to the bench just exhausted. It was her turn to rotate out. Now, is this... Yeah, there we go. There's a substitution. There you go. Yeah, they had to do the proper exchange with Sapp. They didn't take yeah. time to do that. Now they have. And by doing so, that brings Cora Langenkamp into being in the front row. So what are we doing now? Bob Bidlack is making sure everybody is properly aligned and he is, it's a good piece of officiating. Now what yeah, do we got? It is, he's done a nice job. He's talking with uh, Coach Yoder to explain the situation to her. You know, uh, Allison Schwederman has been standing back there now for five minutes with the ball getting ready to serve. That's gotta be a little nerve wracking in itself. Talk about freezing the field goal kicker, yeah, right? Yeah, there you go. In a situation where we are tied at 16, you have to win by two to move to the district finals. And now we're going to have a conference between our R1 and R2 to see what this is about. You know, I, I, I could care less who wins or loses. It's been a great match, but I'm glad Brooklyn Board gets to play. I, 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 I would hate too. to see her not be on the court at this particular point in time. I, Absolutely. That's why I, 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 I knew if she absolutely in any way could walk out there on that floor, she was going to be there. I'm curious what our conversation is about between our two officials here yeah, at this particular I have point. no clue. And... Now yeah, what are they substituting? Now we're going to talk with, with Coach Bangy. They're going to make them sub her out. I wonder if they are because she had, uh, 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 they made her leave for blood, and so they're going to make her set for one play, I'll bet. Donna Morris will check in and play. Donna is a senior, 5'7". You know, if, if the official catches the blood, I think you have to set a play. And she okay. caught her, so here's Sweetman to serve. And through the blocker and the point, that goes to Sierra Graber. That will allow Bourne to re-enter. But her team will trail by one. And service by Ashley Nuss. St. Mary's trying to close this one out. Here's Bourne. And she missed the back line. In a tremendous high school volleyball match. The St. Mary's Rough Riders will take
take a five set victory over the Salina Bulldogs. Celebrate ladies, you deserve it. St. Mary's will go to 16 and nine on the season. Salina with a Western Buckeye League Championship will finish their season at 20 and four. Deb, that was a tremendous high school volleyball match. Don't get much better than that. I mean, it was tight all the way through. Our next match coming up, that will be Shawnee. That will be Liberty Benton. St. Mary's will play the winner of that here Thursday night, and we will have that match coming up right after this. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. <laughs>